Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering rational numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 18, which is a new item type called drag and drop, off the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got five different lakes here. We need to go from greatest to least, right? And each term can only be used once. This is only a one-point problem. You either get it right or wrong. And look what happens if I try to answer without completing all of it. So there's this is just a one-point problem. You either get it completely right or you get it completely wrong. So let's make sure we get it completely right. First off, we're going from greatest to least. These are going to be difficult to compare if I've got some in fractions and some in decimals. I always find it's a little bit easier to compare when we have everything in decimals. If you want to change them into fractions, that's fine. Just make sure that everything has the same denominator, and that's a lot of equivalent fractions. Let's go decimals. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, Arlington, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write each of these out to the side. Okay, so 2... Point two. what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the decimals, right? I'm going to just compare them this way, and I'll just go greatest to least. That's the biggest to smallest, right? So big to small. Okay, so I can go ahead and put my Belton in there as well. Obviously, Belton is larger than Arlington because it's got five in the ones. Arlington only has two in the ones. That's it. The rest, I'm going to need to go ahead and put. You know what? I can actually do a little bit with Athens. Look, see that whole number right there for Athens? That one? Okay, so I can go ahead and put that one right there is because that's my whole number. Same thing with Bonham. I could put a two right there. All right. Look at Cedar Creek. Cedar Creek has got no whole number. It's just three-fourths, which means if there's no whole number, I can literally put a zero right there. So even here, I am really close. I can tell you that the biggest one is going to be Belton. I can go ahead and put that in there because that has got a ones place of five. All right, so let's go ahead and put Belton right there. I could tell you that the smallest is going to be this Cedar Creek because it's got a ones place of zero, right? So I can go ahead and put Cedar Creek there as my least. And I could go ahead and tell you that my second smallest is going to be this Athens because it's got a one's place of one. So look at how much I could figure out without even, I'm not even changing anything into a decimal at this point. I'm looking at, I've got, if I want to rewrite it, I've got this 5.2. So I'm going to rewrite it in order from grades to least. I've got the 5.2, right? And then I know my 0. Point something. It's going to be at the bottom. And then I know my one point something is going to be right above that. So that's my Athens. What I don't know are my, my two twos. Two point something and two point something. I'm not sure where the two point two goes. Uh, simply because I need to convert. Let's go ahead and convert both of these, all three of those, into, into decimals, right? Now, this is where the fact that we've got benchmark fractions should help us. If you ever are concerned or not sure, right, you could take your one-fourth. You can always divide your four into one. But in sixth grade, we learn about benchmark fractions. One-fourth is the same as 0 0.25. Okay, so one and one-fourth is going to be 1.25. So I've got 1.25. And since that's going to the hundredth place, I need to go ahead and just slap a zero uh, onto these right here. Just to go ahead and just, you know. Uh, make it even. So that 1.25, and look at this, two and a half, right? We, you can divide two into one if you really need to, but that's another benchmark fraction at 0 0.5. So that's 2.5. So that's 2.50, which means this bottom is going to be my second largest, and that Arlington is going to be my third largest. So let's go ahead and put bottom up here. And let's put Arlington. We've got that all together. That three quarters, if we really need that, that's, you know, 3.75. But that's my answer.